it's Kirsten. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is a channel for people that have IBD, um, either Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. I have Crohn's disease. I've had it for about three years, and um, I it inspired. What inspired me to do this was I wanted to get the word out, but also I wanted to do makeup tutorials. And the first tutorial that came to mind was contouring and highlighting for moon face when you're on prednisone and I just because when I was on prednisone there weren't videos that were like this and so I wanted to make one so yeah I hope you guys like it and I'll see you in that tutorial so the first thing I'm going to do is to always clip my hair back because you really want to have your cheekbones and your temples exposed so I'm just taking some clips and clipping my bangs back. Like that. So now I'm going to put on foundation. I know that um, when you're on prednisone you can get some redness, some discoloration, and acne. Trust me, I know there. I've been there. So I'm taking my Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream. This stuff has medium coverage but you can build it you can build up the coverage so I really like this stuff and I think it'd be good for if you're on prednisone so I'm just going to apply this to my face now the second thing to do is concealer because you know you're gonna have redness and um, acne so you want to cover that up and also I mean we're chronically sick here. We're going to have some dark circles under our eyes. So the concealer works for that too, but I'm going to be using a different concealer for that. So I'm taking the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. You can still see it a little bit. It's not going to be perfect, but it's the thought that counts. Um, the redness is gone. I think that's the most important. Makeup isn't magic. It's not going to completely get rid of your acne. For under my eyes, I'm going to be using a highlighter. When you use a highlighter, it brings more light to your face, and it's just like, bam. So I'm going to apply the Rimmel Match Perfection Skin Tone Adapting Concealer 2-in-1 Concealer and Highlighter. And I'm going to put some of this under my eyes in a V shape. And taking a foundation concealer brush, I'm just going to blend this in. So now I'm just going to set it with some powder. This is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I'm going to kind of leave this area open just so it stays high. For the contouring, I'll be using Benefits Hula Bronzer. Um, any bronzer will work, it just has to be matte. And why I want it, why it has to be matte, you could even use an eyeshadow, but it has to be matte because it makes it look more natural. Um, if you were using a shimmery bronzer, that'd be more for um, making you look sun-kissed and just letting the light into your face, but you want this to look really natural. So I'll be using a matte bronzer, and you want to go at least three shades darker than your skin. And taking an angled brush, I'm just going to get some product on tap off any excess and find the hollows of your cheeks right here. It might be kind of hard to find, but you have the little dent right there. So looking straight forward, it's this part that like goes in right there. And you want to take your brush and just place it right there. That's really harsh, but that's where you want it, and you want it the most condensed at the top. And just blend until you can't blend no more. And you want it to be really condensed, and then you're going to fade it. You're going to make a fishy face and then fade it into that line like this. And then blend. 
and we'll go through and blend this with the powder brush later. We just want to get it established. See, already your face just looks slimmer. Also, it's like an added bonus. You get a nice, healthy glow to your face, too. Some people are like, wow, your skin just looks so sun-kissed. Everyone wants to hear that, especially if you're pale like me. So there you go. And then also you want to contour on your jawline um, because when you have a moon face, your face is just a circle. So you have no jaw definition really. So you want to kind of create that. So taking more bronzer on my brush, I'm just going to go right here. And I kind of like tilt my head so I get like a clean line and I just apply this to the front, like that, and just blend it down onto my neck. And this will all be blended out later, it looks probably a little crazy right now, but it'll be better. And then also right here. And the point of contouring is just to create false definition, so I think this is a perfect use for contouring. Because you need it most in these kinds of situations. I'm just going to drag it down on my neck, just to, for fun. And then the last place I'm going to contour is right here on my temple area. And this just brings your face in so you have more shape to your face. So taking a little bit of powder, I'm just going to go right here on my temples. And blend it up into the hairline. So contouring is done. And I'm just going to take my powder brush again and just lightly blend. You don't want to blend too much or else it will look muddy. So the last thing to do is highlight. Um, this is optional. I like to do it um, just to bring more, just to give your face dimension. So I'm using Benefits High Beam. And I'm just going to dab three dots on my cheekbones. Like that. And the cupid's bow. And on the chin, just. And that was a last minute decision. And taking your ring finger, you're just going to pat and blend. Um, you can also do down the bridge of the nose if you want. Um, I'm not going to, but you can if you want to. So, and I'm just going to take my hair down. This looks better when you have your hair down just because of the temple line. And it also gives you more of a shadow, when, I think, when you have your hair down. I wore my hair up all the time when I was on prednisone. And, I don't know, I think it looks better when your hair is down. Personal preference. So, yeah, that is the finish contouring and highlighting look. I really get, I hope you guys really like it and if you're on prednisone um, I hope you feel better soon and I hope this works for you and yeah if you have any more Crohn's videos um, or any other videos let me know in the comments below and I will get to them and yeah I hope you really guys liked it and I hope you guys really liked it, and I'll talk to you later. up the dots with the freckles on your cheeks, and it all makes sense to me.